I'm not too familiar with X-Men, even though I have seen all the movies. And I know this is like a continuation off a previous show. So I'm wondering, is this going to be safe to where I can just jump into it as a new fan? Or is it something where I really should have gone back and watched the old ones? It would be really nice if they just made it so if you're a new fan, you can dive right in. I like the music. We've heard this. They included it in the episode of Miss Marvel when he tells her she has like some mutation. Take a look back on another life cut short. Professor Charles Xavier's assassination last year by former NSA agent Henry Gyrick has spurred increased sympathy toward mutants despite their strange powers. There was a sign that said mutants on it and they had like a cross out on it when it first started. The buyer's really gonna throw down 10 grand for every mutant we nab? Says he's using them for target practice. Pew. Pew. They're selling them? Please don't hurt me. Money's not an issue. Beauty thinks it's about cash. Why wouldn't he think it's about cash? You just said you're selling them for 10,000. Hear that, Beauty? So long as that collar stays on, your powers are bye-bye. I was born this way. Ain't that the rub. What are these hand cannons? They're <laughs> wicked cool. They are not having a hip skate party in there. This of the elements, surrender the boy, or face my fury. Ooh, I like her costume. You are a fool. No, if I was everybody else, I'd be like, I'm done. I'm sorry. I clearly made a mistake. These dirt bags get upgrades. He has an M on his face. Oh my gosh, look at the muscles on muscles. Hang tight. He uses laser to move them backwards? Oh my gosh, he's using it to like propel himself around the whole room. I never would have thought of that. I don't think we've ever seen him use his powers like that in the live action. They make him look much cooler in this than the live action. <laughs> Take his visor before he starts up again. No, don't, I surrender. Why would you do that? Not. Yeah, why would, oh, did they think his powers came from the visor? <laughs> Idiots. <laughs> we needed you out there. We've rodeoed more sentinels than I care to count. Rogue always come to Gambit's rescue. Rogue, the professor entrusted us with his dream. The last few months have been rough. If you don't simmer down, you're gonna die of a stroke. <laughs> I love Rogue. Cyclops about to have that stroke. Maybe this hell. Why? <laughs> oh. Remy, you could have hurt someone. <laughs> Beast. I'm blue. Very blue. Wow. His name's Jubilee. And dude, I get it. So I wonder what kind of power he has now that they took his thing off. I need to go. Where's my jacket? <laughs> Tell me I didn't lose it. That giant arm was from a machine called a Sentinel. Did your attackers say anything about where they acquired it? Should we let you leave, they could find you and kill you. I like Storm. I like the design of her. She looks awesome. Just give us the data to figure this out. At least say there's something to do around here. But... Hey, isn't he like a whole school of mutants right now? There's so much for him to do there. If I was him, I wouldn't you want to leave. Unbuild a bright mutant future. Video games are for nerds. Oh, simulation. So what can you do? Fly? Teleport? Shoot gold balls from your body? That'd be weird. Yeah, I want to know. Seriously, girl, get to life. <laughs> Oh jeez. I don't think he's a simulation. So scary. Computer and program. <laughs> scary enough for you, bub. The US, England, and Madripoor have been catching rumors of anti mutant militias with sentinel weaponry. But this is the first I've heard of any confirmed. A news report while on the treadmill? Getting this tech. Oh, there she's talking to them. This is not a news report. <laughs> What about Bolivar Trask? Trask's been missing ever since his inventions tried to swap out President Kelly's brain with a sentinel computer. A little trust, Scott. Trust happens when actions meet words. So since the professor's died, Cyclops has fully taken over as leader. You know, if he were here, the team wouldn't be shooting hoops while slime like the Friends of Humanity are running around with sentinel blasters. You're too hard on yourself and the team. Remember when we were young and we'd sneak down to the lake instead of doing our danger room drills? Those days have been on my mind a lot lately, darling. You and I alone. 
our whole future ahead of us. Oh. The team, they'll always be family, but... They have their own growing. With the baby coming, maybe it's time to think of a life beyond the X-Men? Oh, and he's like a leader right now. What have we been fighting for all these years if not the chance to finally live our lives? The X-Men need us here. The team will be fine. It's okay for you to let go. Oh, jeez. What are you doing? <laughs> Bozo here scared Roberto off. <sighs> you could stand to act a little more like X-Men. Go with them. Hey, now, we didn't do a dang thing. Took the words right out of my mouth. Exactly. Gee, I don't much go in for being bossed around. Fry me a river, Wolverine. They need, like, another leader to unite them, because it seems like they've always had beef, even with Xavier around. Want to know the worst part about the professor being gone? You. That sucks, and I don't even know their backstory in the show. I know who we need to see to find Bolivar Trask, the man who killed Charles Xavier. He's not going to be able to walk away. It does seem like the X-Men need a leader. So far, it seems like Scott and Jean are kind of keeping it together, but they deserve to go out there and have their... If I was down there and one of them brushed against my skin, my power would leave him with a nasty hangover. Any worthwhile man would gladly suffer your hand in a dance. Oh, that's sweet. <laughs> Want to talk about it? Let's just find this trust fund baby and get out of here, Morph. Does Wolverine ever want to talk about anything? School's no place for a baby. Gene knows as much. You don't think they're leaving the team, Morph. Gene's leaving. Is that why Wolverine's extra pissy? But he should want that for them. You know, keep their kid a little bit more out of like the fighting. Dork, let's go. You're not safe here. One dance, that'll come. Uh, what are her powers exactly? She can just, I don't want to just make fireworks because if you sent that at someone, you could probably blind them or like knock them off their feet. She firework? You didn't use your powers against those goons? Didn't want to rub their faces in it? Don't I know it, bub. You're going back now. <laughs> Cyclops, where these bad boys are coming from. Too hot to handle. Did Rogue just do that? I didn't know she had like she was extra strong. Why would I know where Trask is? Gyrick, you're serving 25 years. You talk and I get it down to 10. You are you kidding me? He deserves the whole 25. Normal people know the more room we make for your kind, the less we leave for ours. Tolerance is extinction. I won the day I shot the man you freak shows look up to. You're no Charles Xavier. You're right. Slam his head against the table. Save me from what? Have you met my wife? Oh, I thought he was gonna let Wolverine in. Cerebro amplifies my psychic power. Realistically, they didn't even need him to answer. She could have just went in there anyway. They just gave him the option. My head. One master hold is not enough. We need backups. I know him. Something's wrong. Someone else. Is there someone else in his mind? Like attacking her? This is like her fear escape. Her kid, she has a baby and there's graves everywhere and she doesn't want her kid to die. I am Master Mode. <laughs> what did he do to protect his mind that way? Gene's psychic scan placed Trask in the Sahara Desert. There will be no dismembering, Wolverine. Weight loss. Weight loss! Think you can do that, Logan? Jeez, Dad. Keep buzzing in my ear. What would we do if we ever lost you? I think Wolverine's extra pissy. He suspects Gene and him are leaving, and he's hurt by that. I love that he can just use his laser as like a rocket booster. He's like lowers himself to the ground. To me, my X-Men. He said that title! Trask, we don't want to fight. Well, he does. <laughs> you need to be put down. I feel like there's gonna be like a bigger one after this. Yeah. 
Oh, that's more! That's why he has the M on his face from the beginning. Okay. I was gonna say, they never brought that guy back. Surrender, 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 surrender. Give him the forecast. She's gonna just electrocute them all. Give him the forecast. <laughs> Heed my command. Is this gonna work? I feel like it's not gonna work. Like, I don't wanna say this seems easy, but it seems easy for them. They seem like they can handle more. <laughs> Is this the ultimate boss? Punch right through it. Throw him through his heart. He can go right through it all. He used... How did he do that to his claws? Gambit, like, could magic his claws? I don't understand Gambit's power set either. I thought he could just throw cards around in a fancy way that, like, hurt. <laughs> X-Men might use your gifts to protect but all you do is remind us that our days are numbered. You've no idea how it feels to be left behind. No one's leaving you behind! Are you having that big of a problem because you're not like the number one predator anymore? Trask would rather humans and mutants go to war than work together. We all win when men like him fail. Yeah. It was a team effort. It always has been. I could see why he doesn't want to leave that team. <laughs> I know today was strange. When I first came here, I ran away. This isn't some weird school. It's a family. A family that accepts you. Your parents don't know, do they? Some sort of solar energy. Still oh. figuring it out. Makes me strong, though. I don't even want to be myself. Oh, no! That's so upsetting! Here. Hmm. What's your job? Hot and rich? Don't forget single. Wow. <laughs> no powers. And what about Gambit? Other powers. Wow. <laughs> I know I've been hard-headed lately. It's just... Gene and I have an announcement. You're bailing on us to go raise your little one someplace nice and normal. Logan. Not nice and normal, more like safe and attentive. Who the heck is gonna lead the team? I would assume Storm would lead the team. He never ceased to have faith in our friendship, nor forgive my many failings. Perhaps that is why the old fool has done this. I like that his last will and testament is a whole book. Your own. I beg to differ. Look at that mane of hair. He is a lion. His fortune, his school, now belongs to me, my X-Men. I wonder why. I mean, that was dumb. I'm supposed to wonder why. Emits concussive beams from his face, possesses telepathic and telekinetic powers. They're doing this quick. Charges objects with explosive kinetic energy. Okay. And he can put the energy into other people because that's what he did with... The Wolverine. This is superhuman strength and agility, genius level intelligence. Generates explosive pyrotechnic explosive something or energy something. Can absorb and discharge most forms of energy. Why are they doing this so quickly? Transforms their body and voice and impersonates anyone to gain something. <laughs> they do that so fucking quick. <laughs> Isn't this supposed to be a kid show on Disney? How are children supposed to read it that quickly? That was really good. So I've only seen the live actions. I think that Cyclops is the most milk toast person I've ever seen in live action. But in this, his character is so much better. I like his character a lot. Actually, I really like all of them as characters. I don't know if I have a favorite yet. Like, I really am enjoying him and Jean, and I see their sides of him wanting to stay. He felt that they couldn't go on without him. But then by the end of the episode, he realizes, like, no, you guys can do it. And then he wants to go off with his wife and have their baby. But now that fucking Magneto is in here. What is his name again? Um, Eric? That sounds way lamer than Charles. No, it doesn't. I said it out loud. Eric and Charles are on the same level of names. Yeah, now that Magneto's taking over, I wonder if Cyclops and Jean will feel like they have to stay because they need to protect their family. Who knows what this guy is going to do? Then you think about it and you're like, well, well, Charles left everything to Magneto, knowing exactly who Magneto is. So he had to have had a reason for that, right? Magneto can't be all bad. Why would Charles just willingly give everything to him if he was that bad? I like the cheesy line. Give him the forecast. And it is so cheesy. It would not work in live action, I don't think. But in this, it was so badass. And then seeing Storm walk out made it even more badass after. Because that was my favorite line in the first episode. We're jumping into episode two. 
Oh, Magneto's suit. How did I not notice that the first time? His suit looks so cool. Workers have managed to unload all passengers save one in what has become a Coney Island nightmare. Oh my gosh. <laughs> His Walkman! Come on, X-Men, yeah? Okay. I figured this is X-Men. They have to be doing something. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I is it Magneto? Art? Is that who I think it is? Saving humans? Okay. Soon to tell how recent events will impact mutant human relations. Did the professor not trust me? Maybe we're seeing this wrong. It might not be about Maybe you. Maybe he did this for us. You think regular folks can sleep knowing you demons are down here lurking? The depths you humans go. Ooh, Magneto. <laughs> How unfortunate for you. Oh, I thought the arm thing was like, you put it on if you didn't have an arm and it just turned your whole arm to a kid. You're... Magneto, you shall never be afraid again. What was the professor thinking? I don't know. The only safe and sure way to destroy your enemy <laughs> is to make him your friend. Look, plenty of us at this table have passed so dirty they don't squeak no matter how much spit you got. Give Eric a second shot. But have any of you done as much as he has? I don't know. The tragic fact that I did not consign those sapiens to the waste <laughs> bin of history is proof. Let Jean scan your mind. Even if I sensed Magneto's intentions were sincere, that's today, this hour, mm -hmm. this minute. And we check every minute of every day. Yeah? <laughs> Read the will again. Like it or not, this is what the professor wanted. My intentions here were not to cause drama or discord. Mm, it was a little bit. Maybe he was wrong. I was thinking that too, but I didn't want to say it. Even Charles Xavier can make a mistake. Uh, yeah, so they can't leave now. I need to tell you something, and I need you not to judge me too harshly. Or tell Scott. I love that she does not judge me too harshly. She's like, I know you're going to judge me, but don't go full in. When I think about the baby, how do I tell him he's different? That the world will remind him of it every day. You wish him to be born human. Oh. I have wondered what it would be like to be human. Then I remember how my mutant gifts brought me to this mansion to a sister. Boy, do I sound like a fool. No, Jean. You sound like a mom. You sound like a mother. <laughs> Back when we were friends, I would always sense Charles in my mind. I told myself I needed this to protect myself from his psychic powers. You were worried if you still felt how much he loved you, you wouldn't be able to go through with your crusade. I am indebted to honor his last wish, even if his X-Men won't trust me. My past is too littered with error. Yeah. The X-Men still took me in. I didn't go about demanding their trust. You earned it. I feared you would do your best to avoid being alone with me, Rogue. What is this? Okay, good. That was a long time ago, Eric. Oh. And that cat's got to stay in its bag. How many episodes till I already found out that they used to whatever together? We don't lose our cool when the good guys show up. You were saying? Well, aren't they there for you, Magneto, to be fair? <laughs> we're here for Magneto. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bye! He's gonna attack. Oh no, he's. A I thought he was flying them away, but he's attacking them with the choppers. I should have he's so smart. Twice. I think he might. Then he's gonna do it because his talk with Rogue that he just had. And they're like, what kind of trap is this? I yield. Should he be exonerated today? Justice is overdue. I also get people wanting to put him in jail. Hasn't he murdered countless people, destroying even more families? I feel like the people do have a big reason of why they want him behind bars. You can't just come out and be like, I'm good. It's like, yeah, you're good now, but you're still fucking up a lot of people's lives. The day mankind make Magneto pay. Oh no, what are they gonna do? Keep him distracted. I'll only have one shot. 
Is he going after Magneto or is he going after the president? The lady. Is she the president? My people hunted me with those who had once hunted them. Did they make Wolverine stay home because they knew he couldn't keep his cool? The oppressed become oppressors. Xavier knew this. You claim justice is overdue, but so is healing. Your words, while kind, do nothing. Your words, while kind. You build robots to hunt us, callers to chain our power. Maybe his punishment could be only doing good things with the X-Men? Are we truly to believe that in the face of extermination, you would walk Charles Xavier's path? The protest is a breach in the perimeter. What in the blazes did we do? You gave a monster a trial. Now you are traitors to your kind. Oh, to play by the rules and still they come for you. Our goal is de-escalation. And making sure everyone sees you cooperating with the humans, right? You guys want to be a united front? Fine. You shouldn't go there. Logan. Oh, you gotta take her to the hospital. He's here. <laughs> no. The baby! <laughs> Crap. Yeah. Careful, Logan! Oh my god, she just Get said be way. careful. Hang tight, Jenny. Almost there. I am unable to ascertain the nature of the weapon on his back. It kind of looks like an owl face. You've got a name? Executioner. Our mutants. Hurt my friends? Well, now you answer to me. Is he okay because he put the collar on him? Does that inhibit his power to heal if he got hit? Harder! We just have the dignity not to whine about it! Who is this? Oh, Morph. Jesus, Morph gets me every fucking time. <laughs> Scott, hurry! The baby! The baby's coming, <laughs> Scott! Rogue. Fly Cyclops to Jean immediately. You, Uncola Magneto, you! Well, now who does she think she- Do not! The only one that can help in this situation. You people can lose control of your powers. And if she needs a C-section, I'll show you a C-section, boss. I get their point. If she do, did lose control of her powers, she could accidentally kill them, too. Oh, this is so fucking hard. ...to siphon his medical expertise. Excuse me? Do what? We're just gonna use your brain power for a little bit. I trust you. We both do. Enough. You oh. all need to. Sorry, sugar. Oh, because she did still steal energy. So if she does touch Jean's baby, she could kill it where it's so tiny and might not have a lot of energy. And especially if it's like a human and not a mutant. Magneto! Get up! I definitely feel like you can get by watching the show with only the knowledge of the movies because I feel like I'm doing pretty fine. Be animals. And be cage. He made swords! Ginormous swords! What are you doing? What are you doing? He's going after Magneto? Storm! What does that do to you? Does it take away your powers or does it it doesn't Ugh. Okay. I thought he was gonna crush him. Crush that weapon, though. She has no power. What has he done to me? I didn't think she was a mutant. I thought that she was like a god. My kind splayed before you, powerless and afraid. All the X-Men have done is use their awesome power to protect a awesome world power. that hates and fears them. What must we do to be good enough? Never again. Oh, no. Where are we going? Oh, God, is he gonna drop all of them? Or is he gonna send them to space? Worm. So small I could smite you with a step. Today, I have saved you from your own. For an old friend has challenged me to remember this view of Earth. How vast it is versus how small we make it. Charles Xavier entrusted me with his dream, and it does not ask you to love or embrace my kind as your own, merely to accept that this is a shared world. This is written really well. I am trying to be better. 
He is trying really hard. Do not make me let you down. Because <laughs> he will, and you'll plummet towards the earth. Nathan Summers. Nathan Charles Summers. The United Nations stunned the world this week when it issued a pardon for Magneto. We will begin talks to admit the mutant nation of Genosha into the United Nations. Genosha. I like that they have X-Men branded cops. Does this mean you trust me? The professor trusted you. Oh, so he trusts Charles. Be vigilant. Tragedy lures with fortune first. This was a good week for our people. Yet it was not without cost. Yeah, Storm. What is going to happen? She has to get her powers back. Inhibitor collars use radiation to temporarily neutralize our mutant power. You radiated her powers? What about that boy? The Forever? effects appear permanent. <gasps> what about that boy that they found? Didn't he say he had solar radiation powers? Maybe I'm making that up and it was solar power or whatever. But I thought he said he had solar radiation powers. Could he radiate it back into her? Or could he suck the radiation out of her? I don't know how any of it works. Oh, is she leaving? My sister, you of all the X-Men know the heartbreak of saying goodbye. We are no longer connected, Jean. And now we walk in two very different worlds. I don't want her to not be on the show anymore. I don't want her to leave. Muff. Ororo. We will respect her decision. That's so. The blast had your name on it. She chose to save him. That's not her. Back. Jean? Where's her baby? I need the X Men. Wait. Is it Jean from the past or the future? Jean? I mean, that was stupid. It has to be Jean from the future. If it was Jean from the past, this Jean here would know Jean was coming. This show's really good. The story is more deep than I thought it was gonna be. I'm really liking Magneto. He does still make me nervous. I feel like he's gonna snap at some point in the season. I feel like Storm gave up too quickly on her powers. I don't know. She has to get them back, right? They can't just leave her powerless. That'd be a bit upsetting. I really liked her character. Yeah, it doesn't seem like Jean and Milktoast What's his name in the Cyclops? It doesn't seem like they're gonna get out anytime soon, which sucks because they're new baby, but then like Gene from the future just shows up. Oh, what is, now I wanna know what Gene from the future is gonna tell him because clearly she looks like attacked. Something is wrong. What if Magneto, she's like, it's Magneto, he's attacking us. And then this Magneto in the past is gonna be like, me? <laughs> we are watching X-Men 97, you know that, you know why we're here. All right, I'm gonna jump in. That's different. They're adding things in each intro. They're a little different, yeah? <laughs> Vague and uncertain memories. As if her awareness was born only yesterday. I see a den of confusion and pain. So she's not a, I think I thought she was a time traveler. Then, escape. I'm sorry, someone cloned Jean and she didn't know about it? <laughs> Darling, are you alright? The gene that lies on this couch would appear to be the actual Jean Grey. So who's this bitch? Uh, English. They're both genes. They're clones. Or one's a clone. Our gene is a clone. Wait, what? Wait, wh for real? The sound. But I have memories. Her mind, it's just fragments. Wait, what? <laughs> Scott, tell them. Don't look at her like that. You loved her. You had a baby with her. Who gives a shit if she's a clone? I fought by your side in countless battles. Given yeah. Life, how many times? You know me. Clone or not, they fought with her. Storm would have believed me. This is a turn that I didn't think was going to happen. I mean, I guess I didn't really know what to expect. But not this. I can take him. He's fine. No. Beast tests won't change the fact that I'm Nathan's mother. With the professor and Storm gone and Magneto here, it's been a lot for everyone. So know that you can trust your gene. <laughs> you never could lie to me, Scott. But you always believed in me. I don't know what to believe right now. Am I the crazy one for thinking they shouldn't be taking it like this? I feel like I'm in the wrong. <laughs> Gray, are you Jean? Hello? Throw that baby monitor out the window. Of course, this also had to happen right after Storm left. 
I'll be able to make the final modifications to send you back to your time. I'm sorry, Scott's over there near her? You don't even know- she may have never even met this Jean. Scott, you have to get Nathan. Hank, what's wrong? I know who cloned Jean. Sinister. Sinister. Most prefer to me as Sin Mr. Sinister. But you can call me Father. You! I'm not calling you Father, sorry. We're gonna go with Mr. Sinister. <laughs> Son, Nathan. Only I can usher you and your son to your royal destiny. No. Time to wake up, my queen. Struggle, of course, for all of us. Huh. Maybe if her whole team didn't abandon her and treat her like she was a fucking weirdo, they would have saw this whole change in her and been like, "Oh shit, someone's trying to take her over." Now they're just gonna be like, "She went bad. See, I knew she was bad." Mommy's busy. Oh, upgraded outfit. Tell me your dark desire. She looks great. Hey, show show my my oh, I like that it looks like bat wings. Looks like Magneto and Rogue have the danger room next. Oh, and all tomorrow too. It don't say that. Gambit, I'm literally jealous for you. I fear for you, Morph. I want you to be okay. I don't know what kind of show this is. I watched Invincibles recently, so I don't want them to start getting killed, but I know this is also Disney, so... They're not gonna get killed, right? Uh, do you see that? This is sinister, yeah? One too many redheads for ya. Here, need some help with those hard-to-reach spaces. What are you doing? Uh-oh. As if I don't know. As if we all don't know. No, this isn't really happening. Ew! Oh my gosh, their skins are together! What the fuck is this? Not you. This is not what I expected from this show. Nathan, no! No! Did Sinister actually get him though? They are seeing all their worst fears, and they fear some crazy shit. It's like the worst horror movie ever. The whole magic. Yeah, these are really surprisingly well-designed, creepy-ass characters. Yeah, they can never unsee that. We're in hell. I must ask how he's exerting this much power over our perceptions of reality. Is he powering him up? Morph and him. Is that Bishop? I thought they were the same person in the first episode. No wait, that is Morph. He has the M on his face. I'm fucking confused again. Wow, that's a power. You're welcome. <laughs> She fixed Jesus. it. Sinister's controlling you. Me? Who am I? Say my name, Scott. I am the Goblin Queen. What a fucking <laughs> lame name. No offense, but offense. No! We need to get the baby back. She's being controlled. The baby might not be safe. But also, we should try to get her to not be controlled and see how she is on her own. <laughs> then we can judge her. He made her so he could get his hands on our son. The voices! There's too many! She must not remember how to entirely control her powers. Oh, and you only have Xavier to try to, like, show her how to use them. I can't even protect my own son. My own... Her. I will lead the others in a surgical strike. Fine. Lead the way. The original Jean, the one that's laying in bed. We don't know what she knows. What if she's not in love with Scott? What if she doesn't really know him? Because when she came there, she said, I need the X-Men. She didn't say Scott, right? So what if she doesn't know him and she doesn't feel the same way about him that he does about her? Unique genetics meets your potential unlimited your power. He's putting a baby in a cauldron. <gasps> and he shut it! You must be made invulnerable. A new breed of perfect- Oh, it's not a cauldron. I mean, this isn't any better. By my will. Remember, Jean is Sinister's victim too. She's yeah. under his control. Better listen. I know not what I do. <laughs> I knew you'd follow, Scott. 
It's all you do. I want her to keep this outfit going on. This jean outfit. I want you to fight for me. Oh no! <laughs> it looks so cool with the stained glass shattering. Look at you. Oh my gosh, he was already missing the sleeves. Now we're seeing the pecs. The show was a treat. Don't worry, you'll bleed too, darling. If you want to watch this and other shows and movies unedited, full length, they're over on my Patreon. You can go watch them. Want to pick a movie for me to watch? Want to vote and pulse decide what I watch next and watch some requested movies with me? You can do that. Come on, Judy. Like riding a bicycle. I bet Wolverine is Loki hyped. He's like two jeans. Now me and Scott can each have one. Right here. Remember who you are, what you mean to us, to me. He is already making moves. Logan, I, I remember you. Keep going deeper. Oh More. my God. I did just make the joke about Logan moving in, but I don't want this weird love quad happening. My body won't be an issue. She's gonna have to be there. You took my face, my husband, my family, and now my mind. I was Phoenix. Me. Do they both have the Phoenix power? Is that all you can remember? Oh, baby Jean. Hello there. I think too much. Oh my gosh. All I do is think too. It felt like the first day of the rest of my life. Jesus. Oh, she saved a girl? My best friend. She died. Oh, we she didn't. Let, Let me, me help, help you. you. Can you tell me who I am? Can you say which of these memories are yours and which are mine? Can you? I, I, think, I think so. so. He's more than a memory. He's a living reminder of the purest love two people can share. And no one can ever, ever take that away from you. So she's not controlled anymore. Now she's a bitch that's her on her own accord. What? Impossible! Stay away from our son! Oh, I like this gene too. It's over, Sinister. Is it now? Oh god. Oh, oh yeah, they already put the baby in the Cauldron. You monster! What have you done? And the virus is already spreading rapidly. There's no time. Not here. Not in our time. Beasts nearly fixed oh. your time band. I do know a guy there. Oh, this is Bishop! She just said his name. The M was confusing me. I won't be like my father. I won't abandon my son. <laughs> oh, Scott. We give him the best possible future. Don't any of you know how it feels to be abandoned? No, Scott, this is different from your shitty dad. He's not being abandoned because his dad doesn't like him. He's being sent there for his health to make sure he has a healthy and full life. When you're lonely or scared, or you ask yourself why we did this, we love you so much, Nathan, but owe you nothing less than the best possible future. I do wish Scott was there right now. I won't abandon my son. Oh, Wait. you're just leaving? This is your home too. I don't even understand where their memories end and separate. You know how much I've wanted to go, to start a new life. We don't know when Sinister switched us. Take care, Jean. Okay. Call me Madeline Pryor. Okay, I'm, I'm fine with how they wrapped it up. I was worried. I don't know, I just didn't like how it was going with them, but they did, they did it well. No relief inside. Oh, okay. What I wouldn't give if someone could just make it rain. Who are you? Yeah. Name's Forge, Storm. An old friend of Charles Xavier. I'd like to help you get back what you've lost. He seems sincere. I was a little nervous at first. My big issue was I didn't understand. I guess what they didn't understand is when their memories start and end. And when they were made, like in Switch. So we none of us knew who married Scott. 
who was in the relationship who went on these missions with the team. None of us knew that. So I'm like, how are you kicking this girl out when you could have had all your memories with her? But our Jean, the clone Jean, I guess, she did express that she wanted to go out in the world. Like even with her baby, she's like, we gotta get out of here. Let's. And now she can do that and not feel like she's abandoning the team because the team still has a Jean. I was nervous. Cause I'm like, what? how are they gonna make her go away and have it be okay? But they did it. This episode actually really impressed me with a lot of things. The whole horror element, not something I expected. Very spooky for Disney. And I know this is Marvel, but it also is Marvel Disney. And it wasn't just like, I don't know, this is really well animated. And especially the animation, the, the, the designs of the spooky things. They were really good animations and they were grotesque and not at all cute and oh, it was really surprising. And then the sexiness, they brought the sexiness. You get to see Magneto's pecs. <laughs> and then Jean Grey's outfit, Madeline. Her outfit is like, what she said, the Goblin Queen. I'm sorry, girl, no. No one ever needs to know that that's what you try to name yourself. <laughs> Oh wait, she was under control then, so she didn't even- she probably didn't pick that name, it was Sinister. He was on his weird shit, we know. Yeah, her outfit, oh my gosh, 10 out of 10, I loved it! This team is being tested since Xavier died. I guess I didn't see- didn't see the first cartoons of this, so I don't know the shit that they went through then. But it seems like they're just going through it right now, and it really sucks because they don't know- Okay, I'll finish this. Because they don't- I can't- I fucking forgot what I was talking about because I just thought of Logan. Logan and Jean, they were getting a little, I don't know, too close for comfort. But when they did, that's when she went in and saw Scott and herself fighting. I saw the live action and there's like a bit of Logan likes Jean, but Jean's like, no, she's with Scott. She's with Scott. I'm so sick of fucking love triangles. And not even saying it just for X-Men because it's not like I watched anything else X-Men. But in general, I'm just so sick of love triangles and I don't want to see a love triangle in this. I just want to see them battling bad guys. The problems they come across in this show are more complex than I would think for a kid show. Super impressed on that. Even with this whole thing, that, like the dynamic of who did Scott m marry? And then immediately the whole team when they found out that the gene that they were standing next to that they thought they were fighting next to was a clone, they all kind of just turned on her and it's like, that's heavy shit. I don't know, I'm just really surprised in this being Disney. This is a really good show, super surprising. Um, thank you guys for watching it with me. Bye. <laughs>